Welcome everyone. This is the third game of Chinese All-Stars Queen Tournament. This Queen Tournament has some of the world's best queens and the casters had a little problem with the stream so we're actually starting on round 6. So looking over here we have Akuru, we have Chess Fan on the top of the leaderboard with the green hair player. Chess Fan is the current world number 3 player. The green hair player is a very famous player in China who has two queen accounts in the world top 10 queen. We also have I'm a little ducky here using her queen account. You can see how high skilled the players are because she is using her queen account with 387 queen. That means other players are not using queen because they didn't want to because they had higher queens. Tournament organizers have allowed them to not to use their queen accounts and use their alt accounts. And she probably used one of her main accounts here for the 387 queen. Over here we have Lilith, 8000, and Kill. So and triple six. A few familiar faces, and if you look over here on the tally of the scoreboard, after two games in the tournament, the players' tallies with Chess Fan coming first with Ender. I'm not sure who Ender is because he's not using the name displayed over here, but Chess Fan currently is neck and neck with another player for the first position. It is anyone's game, only lowest points players is only three points, and the highest point is only 12 players. 12 points so it is still anyone's game this is the third game one more game to go the player can earn eight points here and eight points by coming first in the last game as well so definitely anyone's game anyone can still come first now let's look at the player's composition because of the errors with the stream for this one the one the tournament organizers recorded we cannot see the earlier games we are seeing the very start of the early to mid games this is when we want to see who has the win streak. Hakuru has the win streak. We can see over here, this player is not displaying his name. I want to see what, what is he? He is on 93%. 93% is the green hair player. The green hair player is over here using the dire donkey. You can see him making some quick decisions. He is favoring a few of the ox and the warriors and using the bounty hunter as the DPS, as the damage dealer. Look at this, he even reorganized his storage over here. He sold enough units to get 10 gold. Let's look at the player's level. Level 5 for most players, only level 4 and level 4 for Kill and Chess Fan. Notice Chess Fan is probably running a losing streak on purpose. He was at 100%, then he went down to 89% because he's on 20 gold. He's probably running a losing streak. That's very, you know, very nice for the world top players to do because they can purposely start the economy and they can come back massively in the mid game. Of course, if you have a choice, always go with a win streak, then a losing streak. But win streak is not guaranteed, while well, he can guarantee a losing streak. We have seen a green hair player do this as well to very effectiveness. He was at 100%, then he forcefully removed a few units to start a losing streak because he couldn't, he didn't think he will keep the win streak for long. And we'll be focusing on chess fan 638 here, who is on the losing streak here. Other than that, one of my favorite players is the green hair player, who loves to play a different choice of units, who also loves to play gods as well. By the looks of it, he is going to ox warriors. The bounty may be moved out after round 16. What's happening with the stream is the organizers were having difficulties with the multicasting. So what we're looking at is we're probably looking at the perspective of the green hair player actually, which is okay. Until the organizers fix that for this game, hopefully they can. Let's see how we go. I haven't gone into the replay, so because of that, I'm not sure if they have fixed it in the game or if this whole game is about the perspective of the green hair player, which is fine for us. I love the green hair player, very creative. Definitely check out the group C stage when he played his playoffs, and he's a very good player. Let's see how he let's see how he controls and how he finds his unit. We see a clear indication of favor into majors. You can see that he's been keeping the crystal maiden. Usually, unless you plan to go into majors, you'll not keep the crystal maiden. He's on ten. He's on eleven gold. Look at him. He's always adjusting his formations for different rounds. He is clearing out his storage space, making them as neat as possible on his spare time. He did look for a few players as well. So this is actually a player game instead of the caster game. This is what I want to see. During the neutral round, players do scout around. And yeah, here we're back with the casters, I believe. Are we? Game? No, we're still back with the green hair player. <laughs> Unfortunately, the caster tried to do it. I don't think they made it. So we're still back to the green hair player. We can see 
What's happening? You're back to the casters, though, great. <laughs> okay, okay, the casters are back. That's great. I was worried the casters will never come back. It seems like they're back. This is Chess Fan. Chess Fan was the Druid player with double Enchantress 2 star. He's running a Lucian streak. Weibo says he's getting CM quite early. That's right, because his full intention of going to majors. It's likely he will go into Orc majors or Warrior majors. Something I want to show you guys is a mage is so nice for two reasons. Not that they guarantee the first spot of the game by coming first, but they usually guarantee a top 5 spot and that's very good for climbing ranking as well. Mages might not be the number 1, they will generally be number 4, number 5 or even number 3 sometimes. Let's see if that's the case for this game. Lilith is going for Hunters. We can see she is using more runners. Let's see if she swaps them up for other units as well. Now. We do see Assassins, very reminiscent of the popular Assassins meta, and that's a top pickup by Triple Six. Notice he's also going to Druids, because Assassins works well with Elementals, Druids, and Elves. Of course, the Druids are mainly Elves if you use the Train Protector as your main tank, but the highlight is he needs 2 star PA and maybe 2 star TA to make the vision to mass effectiveness. One player currently have the 100% win streak. If he gets away with it, it's likely he will go to level 7 next round or even go further. I'll be surprised if he doesn't go to level 7 next round. Most of us have seen how aggressive I play in my Queen game as well recently because I'm so influenced and learning so much from the Queen players and it's actually doing great for us. Although we're not coming first all the time, we're coming third, second, fourth and sometimes even first by being aggressive. It's a really nice guide. I'll be making a question guide for you guys. So instead of trying to say, oh, we saved for 50, we can see different curves and different reasons to not save. And not because we're rolling to get lucky, but rather we're leveling with plans and with a mid game setup in mind. Let's have a look. Chess fan with a losing streak is level 5, 55%, 50 gold at round 30. As I said earlier, I was expecting the top player to level up. He did. He leveled to level 7 with 20 gold remaining. Lilith is also level 7 with 23 gold. So she has some nice economy or she has less potential on the bank, on the bench that is. Usually players do keep lots of gold on the bench. Look over here. It's keeping about 15 to 20 gold here. And this is how many little ducky. Little Ducky is keeping about 15 gold on the bench. If she sold all her units, she could be on 30 or 35 gold, I believe. So, hey there, welcome Panda, great to see you. And Captain says refresh and fix that, that's great to know. And yeah, let me know if we run any troubles into the stream as well. We see Knights. Oh, Kyo is running for Knights. That's a top Luna pickup. You really want a two star Luna? And I have the funny Luna, did you guys see that? Kyo did level twice. So. Kill is on 50 gold, chess fan is on 50 gold. What's going to happen is because players did save up a massive economy here with the losing streak, they're going to punish the players in the middle. Those who haven't saved up and those who are not ready yet will be punished pretty severely. We can see the green hair player is on 90% but 13 gold. Either he saved some great units on the bench or he rolled a few times. Let's have a look as well. What I'll be looking at is a lot of players going to level 7 and round 17 or even further. Some of them might even go to level 8. Lilith is actually in big trouble. She is one of those players that's stuck in between. She does not have the economy, she does not have the health, and she does not have the lineup. Let's see how she fares. It's likely we're going to see chess fan kill climbing up the ladder with the economy they saved up with a purpose losing streak. Ooh, what's that? This is the undead knight with a few value units. Usually you don't need to have your full lineup working. Say if you're running chores, you don't need all the chores done. If you're running mages, you might not even need all the mages done. You just need some two stars to make it work for yourself. After round 15 is when the match really starts to kick into action. Players will be losing HP over 10, maybe 15 or even 20% because of the beast player, maybe assassin player. Also, players will be aggressively spending or rolling. And hey there everyone, hey there Silly and hey there Silly my friends, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. We do see Assassin players still running around in the game and they are quite strong, not because they are the ideal candidate to come first in the game. They are again a good combination of unit choices to come top 5 in the game. 
Players like also to pick up races or classes that other players are not picked. Because if no one picks those, there's a higher chance naturally for you to find them. It's like other players are helping you with their rates. But of course, the ox and their dead is so heavily contested, you can see people picking warriors, people picking Georges and Abaddon. And by checking the stats, Abaddon is actually the most picked unit in auto chess right now. There's the stats in the world leaderboard, and Abaddon is actually the top unit to be picked because he works in knights, he works in undead hunters, he works in almost anything because he's the best friend for Joranger before she finds a necromancer. So let's count the number of level 7s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 people is level 7 and round 16. This is the aggression of the Chinese meta. And because of this, games generally end before round 40. So people don't usually get to see the chores unless it's a very evenly matchup. Remember that Lilith was losing. She went further, she spent more. But, oh, she's gonna do it. She did it. What a warrior juggernaut. I love juggernauts, I have to say. Oh, look at Tiny. That's a tiny ravage, guys. <laughs> Not only did he stun two units, he also did some damage to them. The Shadow Fiend is moving his arm as fast as he can, and the tree found him. <laughs> no, he tried. Oh, that little bird was actually flying. Akuro actually lost his win streak. <laughs> I thought that's a bird carrier, but that's actually a little bird that grew up to a big eagle, actually. Very nice. So, this is a round. I believe everyone will go to level 7. I wouldn't be surprised if someone go to level 8. Yes, there, there you go. Chess fan went to level 8. The world number 3 player is even more aggressive than I expected. Why is that? He is also rolling down his gold after level 8 because he wants to be stronger. This is something I did in my comeback game as well. Because you're so low HP, you have to be even stronger than those that went to level 7. Everyone's at level 7, two players level 8. Lilith and Chessman is really happy by stepping up the gas. Because they're doing this, it's likely other players that find them is going to lose, and in return, they're going to level up, they're going to spend further, and this upward spiral of power, of like arms race, is going to go further for all the players. That's Lada, it's like not doing anything, he just stood there. He's like, I'm going to punch you slowly, <laughs> ever so slowly. Then he's, he's dead. Slada was affected by Batrider with Napon ability because that spell not only does it increase Batrider's damage on the enemy, it also slows the enemy's reactions to different spells and movement. This is also the intention in Dota 2 as well. WW said chess fan choices Alpha Assassin the over Elf Hunter. Dusa is on his bench. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, Dusa is on his bench. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Maybe he wants a two-star Dusa. He is also contemplating. What we'll be looking at is look how low the player's health are. 53% to 27%. This is only round 18, by the way. Now, that's a first hit human silence or a second hit human silence. And those are not two-star Dragonite. Notice the most crucial unit is protected in a corner, which is the Luna. Lilith did start to win. And when Lilith started to win, whoever finds him will actually start to lose. Actually, no. <laughs> Lilith found Chess Fan. Chess Fan is much stronger because Chess Fan is the elf player. An elf player that step up the power game around this stage is almost undefeatable. And but <laughs> just when I said that, Little Ducky did defeat Chess Fan. So let's see what Little Ducky has. One is that elf player is undefeatable because of the six stack of elf evasion plus the summons plus the heal from the three star enchantress. It's actually so overwhelming at this stage, units don't actually deal enough damage. Once players find the two star Dragonite, maybe some crucial units like a uh, two star Conquer, two star Doom, things will be very different. We do want to see what units chess fan have, but if you guys remember, there's at least two assassin player. There is at least. Oh, there you go. That's chess fan, I believe. He's got the elves and he's got the double trend. He haven't found his long drill, I believe, and he purchased his enchantress the expensive way by six enchantress. Funny that I just said the elves are so strong and now they're not defeating this dragon player. Oh, is he gonna do it? That wind runner took so long to cast, maybe she had a chance before the only healed. Now with the human silence, chess fan actually lost on an offensive round against kill. Kill still had potential, but the downside of a kill is he waited to spend for so long, he's on such a high gold by such a low economy. 
in comparison. If you guys remember, Chess Fan is one of the player actually spent much earlier than Q when we were on par. Chess Fan protect more health because of that. The great thing for Q is he can wait after round 20 to go to level 8. I wouldn't be surprised if all the players goes to level 8 here. And again, I do notice a few players picking mages. Mages is quite punishing for elves, for the low HP pool, and also they can burst down the assassins if they're positioned correctly. If you position them wrongly, the assassins can take down the mages with one or two hits because of the burst damage and critical. Let's see, if chess fan finds any good item, that's okay, maybe you can make a dagger out of it. This one more item, that's okay as well. Some decent items for him, and some superb item will be some plate mail or even hyperstone, or maybe pieces of a desolator. Oh, techie, someone picked up a big pickup. In case you guys are wondering, usually half of the legendary is always instantaneous. When it casts a spell, it works instant. I don't prefer DP because she is not instantaneous, but Techies, Enigma, Gyrocopter, Tide Hunter is instant. Which is a little awkward because although it's instant cast, it's not instant reaction. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Kill did his action so fast. He made his spare change with his change so fast. Everything disappeared. Look at this. Just fine it's going in with off hunters. With the Dusa 2 star over here, that superb amount of control that should allow him to win the next few engagements if possible. Oh, this is a mage. Notice that you don't want to face mage directly, and also this is a weak mage. Knights do counter mages because of the knight's armor, giving magic resistance. Now, the mage player Hakuru did lose to the assassins. That's one of the highlights because assassins is here to shine for at least another 10 rounds. That's a 3 star Morphly. <laughs> That's not an average assassin, guys. Triple Six is going to be in trouble soon if he doesn't find some great units, which he just did. He found a Lycan. <laughs> now, I wonder if he's going to do something else. How much gold does he have? Triple Six has plenty of gold. Okay, he's not that much in trouble, guys. <laughs> he's fully comfortable here. So. We do notice everyone is on level 8. This is a great call for most Chinese players to stay on level 8. After the aggression, they really stop the aggression at level 8. They'll be rolling, they'll take the legendaries they get, also they will be rolling for units 2 star and 3 star. It's rare to see someone go to level 9, unless they have a full board of 2 stars already. Mages versus Knights. Usually mages are on the weekend, end, but over here this is not an average mage, this is a warrior mage. Maybe the warrior mage can tank out enough and summon enough to make the work for the mage. And I'll be making a mage and warrior guard for us to the in the coming days, and I'm testing the mages and warriors. Right now, a lot of the warriors seems to be great with warrior mage, which we're combining warriors and mage, warriors and beast, and warriors and warlock. Very even game. We do notice that although players went to that very low, it's not because they made a mistake, but rather they did not have the advantage in the early game. Now that they saved up enough economy, they're rolling deep. You can see the last three players spent all the gold here, even chessmen. And on the top, see, there's a big clear di difference between the players. The bottom three players spend all the gold. The next three players have quite a decent saving because they haven't reached the HP threshold. Once they get below 30%, they will be worried as well. And lastly, the top two players here to not spend much gold to maintain economy and to fight for the top two positioning. So different priorities with three sets of players. The bottom three want to not come last. The next three bunch of players wants to come top three. And the last three wants to come top one. Because they are different priorities, players will act wise. Because some players will actually start rolling further because they just want to live now. Other players are okay with losing a bit of health because they know they still have plenty of health. That's a Majun, that's a Maelstrom on someone, definitely on the Dragonite or the Luna, because Lightning is rocking each time they attack. Oh, little Ducky found the Tide, look at that. She found the Tide, I really want her to come top 4 because she's using a Queen 387 account. That means if she loses here, she'll lose massively in terms of ranking. Maybe this 3000 ranking will be lost here. Hopefully she can't top 4, just for the ranking. So brave to use the coin account here as well. Now, looking over here. A lot of players are still staying at level 8, but they're spending more gold. If, you, if I remember correctly, Little Ducky had a little more gold before, and 8,000 had some gold. Now they're going dry with economy as well. 
because after round 25, players will start to die. And after they die, it's likely you're going to be matched up with even stronger units and stronger opponents. Because only the best survives. And those that you can't defeat happen to face you more frequently because there's less people you can find that's weaker. Ooh, triple six is in trouble. That's a beast warrior player. Oh, that's 16%. So painful. Look at how close the bottom eight, bottom six players are. And here, Hakuru being a mage player, what? This green hair player is also a mage player. If you remember correctly, he bought the Crystal Maiden so, so, so early. We haven't had a chance to look at him yet. Maybe we get a chance to look at him very soon. Now, Omsurp says, I love this channel. Thank you so much for coming over, my friend. Thank you so much for your support. Round 25. After round 25, what I want to notice is two things. Anyone go to level 7? Anyone go to level 9? And also, if anyone start to spend massively. We can already see one player, Hakuru, went to level 9. One thing to highlight is Assassins usually stay at level 8. Dragon and Dragon Knights and Dragons usually go to level 9 if possible. And lastly, Mages wants to be level 9 because you just need that additional unit to help you with the damage, to help you with the control, or to help you with tanking up. So here you go. Assassins wants to stay at level 8. Mages, Knights, and maybe Warriors can to level 9. Elves usually stay at level 8 as well to roll for some crucial Elves. Oh, 8,000 is not your average assassin. It's a massive assassin. That's a big pickup. Look at all the power-ups with the players, guys. A Luna and a Queen of Pain. And we're not seeing the flowchart over here. I think the casters have removed the flowchart to stop the overwhelming messages. Which is the downside. We have to pick up things manually ourselves. We had a glimpse of the Queen Hair player, I believe. He had two Dusa on the bench. Hopefully that's him. We'll go back to him very soon. This is a hunter player with a tight hunter. Look at that. He haven't found a Dusa, but he found a tight hunter. This is Lilith. She is actually in trouble because hunters versus elves. But those are not your average elf. <laughs> That's a Medusa elf. Oh, that bear is stunned. She needs that bear to tank for him. Now that most of her units died, the elves will be pushing forward and there's no more tanks for her. <laughs> Arrows from the sky, guys. So scary. They in just healed twice. This is pretty much over for Lilith. She's the first player to be eliminated on the third game of the finals. Look at the Christmas presents. It's for everyone. <laughs> Akuru's like, I'll take it. <laughs> this is our warrior player. He was actually a mage player. Look at the Crystal Maiden. He had a Crystal Maiden for the longest time. He went into warriors after deciding to not compete with the mages. There's probably less warriors around the mages, and that's one of the reasons he did it. Now, Zed. Aldi said, thanks for making YouTube videos. They are very helpful. And oh boy, three star Luna <laughs> progress. Indeed, indeed. Welcome, welcome, my friend. You tune in the perfect timing. This is the showdown of most of the high school players. And they have been saving up economy, starting a losing streak, and doing a lot of the correct math, doing a lot of the correct decisions for this moment. They want to be top four, three or top four because the point system is so even with it. But this is a massive assassin. I wonder who can take down this assassin. And that is a massive knight player. Little Ducky is in trouble. She is using her queen account 387. Oh, I feel for her. I really want her to do well as well. Now, if you guys remember, Chess Fan is the player over here with 23%. He started a losing streak on purpose. And he was the bottom two player. Him and Kyo is in the bottom two position for the longest time. By spending correctly, by picking up great units, he is actually climbing his way to number 4. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up top 4 now, because not only does he have economy, he also has the health lead as well, compared to other players. Yes, 23% is a health lead compared to the 12%. You can afford to lose once here, but you can't afford to lose that 12%. Of course, chess fan is probably not thinking of coming first in this game. What other players are thinking of coming first is the green hair player and Hakuru. Both are running a bit of the warriors and mages, and I think one of them went to more into the warriors as well. Hunters everywhere, right guys? Talk about the hunters. I made my hunter guide, and I start to see more hunters in the high rank matches as well. One thing to know it's working, the other thing to know is like six or four people are going for hunters. I'm like, why? <laughs> wow, 1% and 1%. Look at this. <laughs> Living on the edge for Little Ducky and Triple Six. Once they die, the game will be so much free to fight the players as well. Notice Q is still level 8. Q's got a potential to go to level 9. Add one more on dead and to be even stronger. 
And because there's so many warrior players, once triple six dies, he free up the pool of warriors and even hunters for the other players. He's got a Medusa, he's got the Slaughter, he's got a Kanka and Doom. So yeah, hunters are quite strong, my friend, and you're absolutely right. The other side is by picking a unit composition that's not picked by anybody else, it's similar here by the assistant player, he's really rewarded with a lot of good RNG, lots of finding for great units. Look at this, this is a green hair player, we finally get to see him. He's a warrior mage, very interesting. Something I want to show you guys is that you can actually run warrior mage. Warriors is okay with the spells, but mages really do enjoy the front line. Also being a warrior mage, you can have lycan and with the human silence as well. Wow, little ducky died, unfortunately for her. She came seventh position and so did triple six. They are five players remaining and it's likely we'll have less players after this. Notice kill did lose. He did lose to one of the counters tonight. Without I'm dead here. He is quite in trouble because he doesn't have physical damage amplification and because of that he really wants to be level 9. I won't be surprised if he got to level 9 next turn. I think he's prepared. He's got a necker on the bench. Kill's got a great potential. If Kill survives, one of those other players will actually lose quite severely to him. <laughs> this is Akuru. <laughs> Look at him. He was running mages. He sold the 2-star crystal man as well. This is a big commitment. He also found a titan with Medusa. That means he's ready for the warrior mage. Compared to the 6 warrior versus warrior mage, whoever finds an Naga will be stronger in terms of control and in terms of offensive power. And Hakuru is definitely doing well with his Beast, Warrior, and later on Naga Mage. Warrior Mage, only three humans is where it has decency. So the thing is, you don't want to force the humans, they come as a bonus. If they come in three, it's okay. You can use all three to great effectiveness. If they come as four, it's perfect. But it's hard to come as four because you don't need the Dragonite. You don't need the Lena most of the time. But three is okay. Because sometimes when RNG works, even with 20%, you can silence the enemy for 15 seconds. If you guys haven't seen that particular tournament cast, it's actually in the tournament as well. The Dusa got first hit silence, and then she was silenced for 15 seconds because each attack was a silence at 20%. Now, we're looking at Chess Fan. Chess Fan is an elf player that's a comeback elf player. The downside for him now is there's so many warriors. Elves are great against warriors because they can counter the normal attacks of warriors, but the downside is elves can't break the warrior's armor. So elves need a form of magic or AoE damage against warriors. And this is what we're seeing right here. You can evade all the attacks you can, but if you can't deal damage to them, you're not going to have a good time here. Is Chessman going to die? He survived. So, Chessman and Kill is competing for the top, for top 4 positioning, while the 3 player here is actually competing for the top 1 position. Look at this, Hakuro spent so aggressively, he's level 10 already. He got the Dusa. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Why does he have the Witch Doctor? Uh, the Witch Doctor is for the troll. That's so awkward. He's not favoring the Tide Hunter. Very, very strange. Oh, very. Oh, he saw the Tide. Did you guys see that? <laughs> he didn't want the control with the Tide because he already have the Naga style. He's got the Slaughter and he didn't want the Tide. Very interesting. Looking over here, Kyo is level 9 versus in the, hunt, versus in the Elves. And it really is going to matter between Kyo and Chessfan who survives longest on this round and who can come top 4. Usually coming top 4 is a great score already and you'll be gaining ranks. By coming top 3, it's even better. Let's have a look. Oh, the evasion do counter the assassins. Look at this, guys. If you can't hit them, you can't get mana, you can't deal damage. Kyo is also surviving. That means 8,000 the assassin player is actually losing now. So... We have a 6 warrior with a beast naga setup, we have a warrior mage, we have a massive assassin, we have an elf, and lastly we have the good old fashioned dragon knights with undead. So yeah, 8000 got hit hard, pepper hand, I know right guys? <laughs> it's very close match so far. And you will even get closer if the two players on the top start to lose. But look at them, they have spent all their potential in terms of saving. They know every point of health is so important here. They have spent all the money, pretty much. Hakuru did sell something though. He's back to 10 gold. That Luna is puffing off red flames by the looks of because Dragon that's behind her. It says she's puffing off red flames. 
The biggest downside over here is lack of control for kill, and we just saw that right there. Lack of controls, and he's facing a big counter for him, which is the knights. He can't deal enough damage. Sorry, he cannot deal enough damage to the warriors. Warriors are so tanky when there's six warriors. Wow, it's gonna be close. Chess fan and 8000 is competing for the top three position, while the green hair player and her crew is competing for the top number one position. The Wish Doctor might be a superb pickup. Not only does he give attack speed to the Troll Warlord, he's also a great unit to stun and control units multiple times. 8000 bought the tide, he sold the tide. Look at that. Something you want to keep in mind is the way players decide. Why did he sell the tide? I'm very interested. He sold the Lundra as well. What is he doing? He's rolling for the Dusa. Oh gosh. He's rolling deep and he's not giving me items to the Dusa. That's very strange because I love to give all the damage items to the one star Dusa so she can cast a little earlier. By doing 50 damage, she can gain the max mana. He is really pushing forward and this is not a great matchup. He doesn't have any great matchup because he's a warrior. A warrior is so tanky and the Dusa died before she did anything. Warrior is so tanky, assassins just can't fare well against them because you can't burst anyone down and everyone deals so much damage to your squishies as well. They think this is the end for 8000 and yes 8000 died and chess fan with a losing streak actually made it to the top 3 position. Very impressive actually. In similar note, Kill also had a losing streak but he only made it to the top 5 position. Oh the green hair player did lose here to chess fan with elves. So it's time to see the matchup after round 35 to see how chess fan fares against the other two players. Both are warriors, one is a mage, one is a beast warrior, Naga warrior. It's likely Hakuru would defeat Chessman because how tanky he is, but this is only a matchup. If Chessman gets lucky, he might match up with the other matchup. <laughs> Look at this. This is a T positioning. <laughs> one to the side, one to the side, one in the middle. How interesting. <laughs> yeah, just gonna go so something to counter to stay alive. That's right, my friends. Definitely want to try to make anything work in the late game. If anything can help, you definitely try that. And if two anti mage works, let's do with that as well. <laughs> Look at Chess Van Gogh. The great T position with the two on the side. Oh, that's a top pickup. That's a Raver. Plus 500 health. Oh, all the players got some decent items. I want to see Chess Van's positioning. He favors the Doom. Look at that. He didn't want anti mage with double stack evasion. He favors a one star Doom. Very interesting choice. The Doom can make magic, or the Doom can do nothing. Oh, chess fan is so close. What is he looking for? Oh, that train protector, guys. Do you see? He's got a vein gun, he's got a raver. That's a 3600 health tree. And that tree is going to be everything for him. He wants to survive. He wants to be second if possible. Chess fan is on such a high score. If he comes second, he's going to be incredibly strong. Looking over here, he found the biggest counter to him, which is Warriors. And his deuce is way too slow. She did not cast. And that 3.5 seconds will be pretty much the end of him. Because she did not cast, the 2.5 seconds stone is enough for the Beast Warrior to do a lot of damage. And the elves are so squishy. Here we go. Very nice well played by Chess Fan for coming top 3. And we'll be facing. Look, Chess Fan defeated the Green Hair player again. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he keeps finding Chess Fan and keeps losing health. So we're looking at 28% to 10%. This is the transition into a Warrior Mage versus the Six Warriors. But notice that Six Warriors have Naga. The Warrior Mage does not have enough control, I feel. Maybe swapping the Jaro with the Kun. Is he gonna swap the Jaro with Kunker? He did not swap them. Interesting. He didn't favor the last bit of control. He favored for more burst damage. But knowing that it's Nargus, things gonna get interesting. Yeah, very close match, my friend. You can't win any, every game. It's the key to delay your death and to come top four. That's gonna be crucial. Notice here the disruptor silence for three seconds. That might be crucial. Because three seconds was allowing the warrior player to do a lot of damage to the green hair player. And this is it. Did he die? He died. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna pause here because the video will end, he will jump out of the video. To summarize, the crucial part of the player winning here was because of the Naga choices, because of the amount of controls.
I was surprised Hakuru didn't pick the Tide Hunter, but he already have two Nagas. He probably wants to fit to six warriors, two Nagas, and his Witch Doctor. So favored for the Witch Doctor. Very well played by Hakuru. He went to level 10 so much faster. That additional one slot of unit really did help. And despite that, our friend Chess Fan did a really well played by coming top three. Here we're just shuffling the leaderboard. The green hair player was the win streak leader, similar to the second win streak leader, which maintained his lead even into the late game. We do see the potential of the comeback with losing streak elves again. We see the power of the mages. And lastly, we can see how dominating the warriors are. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this third part of the tournament. There will be one more game for the finals of the tournament. If you like this video, please subscribe and please like the YouTube video. And if you want to support me on Twitch, please follow and please use your Twitch primes here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, my friends.